Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alondra. If you guys have not yet been on my channel, welcome. And if you guys have not been subscribed, feel free to subscribe in that red button down below. Um, so today I created this look. I actually wore this look to the rodeo here in Houston. And I just fell in love with it and I said, I mean, why not do a tutorial on it? And I noticed there was a lot of people on Facebook that really, really loved the look. So I was like, well, I'm just going to record it, get it together, record it, whatever. So here I am. I hope you guys are excited to watch the tutorial. So if you guys are ready to watch it, then just please keep on watching. I'm going to be picking up the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. This is going to be the base for my eyeshadow today. I'm going to buff this in from the inner to the outer of my eyelid all over. After this step, I'm going to be picking up my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I am in the shade 6.0. I like to apply this over my MAC Paint Pot just so that it blends better in with my face. After this step, I'm going to pick up the RC Main No Color Powder. I'm going to set my whole eyelid with this just so that the eyeshadows are able to blend better. I'm going to pick up my Modern Renaissance Palette from the Anastasia and I'm going to pick up Raw Sienna as my first transition shade. I'm going to apply this kind of in my crease area, also blending up to the brow bone. After this, I'm going to pick up Burnt Orange, build up my transition shade. So pretty much, I like to focus the transition shades and I like to build them up just so that they can pop more. So I'm taking Rogar, which is a deeper orange, just to build that transition shade a little more. And I'm just blending all those colors together. After this, I'm going to be picking up Love Letter. This is just going to give it a little bit more depth in my crease. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just focusing this in my crease and I'm also just blending it in towards the transition shades. Gonna take black out from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I'm gonna focus this black on the outer of my eye. After that, I'm gonna take Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance and I'm just gonna start to blend out that black and also deepen the crease just to give it a little more smoke in the inner and the outer of the eye. Here, I'm just blending all the shades together with a blending brush. Next, I'm just gonna pretty much build it build up that black to where I like it then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer this is gonna help me cut the crease as you can tell all I'm really doing is going a little bit over my actual crease and I'm creating semi cut crease not an actual cut crease I'm gonna be using the RCMA No Color Powder to set that concealer for no creasing I'm gonna go back in with the, all the transition shades that I were, was using and I'm pretty much building in that color on the middle of my eyelid this is just gonna give it a little more ombre look I'm gonna pick up the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm picking up Forever Lit. This is gonna be the inner shade on my eyelid. This is really gonna give it a pop. I'm gonna use this as a highlight for my brow bone just to give it a more pop as well. I'm gonna go in with my NYC liquid liner and I'm just gonna create a line on top of my lash line. This is just so that it hides the actual lashes. Here I'm just curling the lashes, prepping them for some falsies. I'm gonna be using the Coco Lashes and Queen Bee as always. Also going to touch up the waterline with some gel liner from Maybelline. And here I'm just popping the lashes. I'm going to pick up this concealer I received in my FC Glam Bag. I'm going to blend this out on the lower lash line as a base. And I'm also going to set it with the RC Mino Color Powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and get all those transition colors that I use for the eye. And use them on the lower lash line. Exactly how I used them at the top. I'm going to be using them as the bottom. At the bottom I just smoke it out. I'm 
I'm going to pick up my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. Moisturize my face with this as always. I'm also going to pick up the Benefit Matte Rescue Primer. And I'm going to just prime my face using this to give me a more matte finish. I'm also going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Which is my go-to foundation. And I'm just going to blend this out all over my face. Then after that I'm going to pick up the concealer from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape and Light Medium Honey, and I'm going to blend this under my eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead, and chin, just to give it a highlight and also to conceal the under eye circles. I'm going to be using the RC Mano Color Powder to set and bake, and I'm also going to create those contour lines, sharpen the contour. I had a little incident with my bronzer, so yeah, here I am. Anyways, I'm still going to use it. This is going to be my bronzer and contour, and I'm just going to do the normal contour and bronzing on the contour lines, forehead, and on my jawline, just to sharpen it up. I'm gonna take my B Matte Blush that I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag, and I'm just gonna be pretty much blending my blush into my bronzer. And then after that, I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NC42, and I'm just gonna set my whole face and go over the bronzer and blush. I'm gonna be using the Nicole Guerrero Highlighter Palette, and I'm gonna use Forever Young and Glow Getter to highlight my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, tip of my nose a little bit on the bridge of my nose and yeah and it's fucking pretty I'm gonna be using the Milani matte lipstick and adorable and I'm just pretty much applying this all over my lips and after this gonna set my whole face using the MAC fix plus and it's just so that it sucks in all the powders okay guys so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed watching the tutorial on this look I think my look came out actually better than the actual original first time that i did this look it's just so glam so pretty so everything all at once i also um got the nicole guerrero palette finally from anastasia the highlight palette um it literally just came out i have not done a review on it because i'm still trying it out and i'm gonna see if i actually like it I do have my reviews already stacked up, so I'm probably going to record that video tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that video as well. Um, anyway, so if you like the video and this look, please give me a thumbs up. Um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that red button down below and also hit that bell button next to it just so you can be notified every time I do upload a video. Um, all the details I use on this look will be down in the description box below. If you have not followed me on social media, you need to. I'm always on Snapchat, always doing some shit on there. So add me, everything is life as Alondra, except Twitter, I'll leave all that down below as well. Um, if you guys have any requests on any other look or anything in particular that you want to see, just let me know and I'll have it in my journal of list of videos to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and also, by the way, before I end this video, I'm trying to hit 700 subscribers by my birthday, which is 4-8, April 8th, so it's literally one week away, and I'm trying to hit it, um, so my birthday's on April 8th, I'm trying to hit 700 subscribers, if you guys get me to 700 subscribers by my birthday, I'm gonna do a giveaway, and the giveaway will be soon, as soon as possible, whatever, but please, please, please help me get to 700 subscribers, and... I will be very, very appreciative of it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.